This one we've got is a full power UHP. This is the ultra high power version of the LA5 manufactured by L3. The settings on this are similar to a PEC-15. However, they differ in regards to you gain two settings and you're gaining a high power visible setting, which we've shown you what that looks like in a, in a previous post. And you're gaining a um, low laser, but high illuminator setting. So remember on the PEC-15 where when you were in full power, we didn't have the option to tone back the laser on the UHP you do, which is really nice. So that's a, that's a big benefit to this, but we'll just go through the settings on the UHP and uh, we'll start with the first IR setting. This is low power laser only. So you don't have any illuminator and this is at a hundred yard berm. So we've got paper target, berm, steel target. Very similar to the PEC-15. Now you've got dual low power. So you've got a low power illuminator and a low power um, IR pointer. So again, you've got your paper target, berm, and steel target. So again, very usable illuminator. Um, most people aren't shooting past 100 yards with, uh, with a laser anyways. So really when you're looking at the strength and the output, the low setting is really gonna do everything that uh, you really need for most applications. Uh, one thing to note, I will say that it is very, very bright tonight. So that's gonna make the illuminator and the laser seem weaker than uh, they are on normal conditions with some clouds and not a full moon. This is a full moon. So one thing to, uh, to keep, keep in mind as we're going through the settings. The next setting, we've got full power laser and uh, it blooms out very bad and definitely not usable to aim with any degree of accuracy. We're moving to, this is the CQB setting, you could call it, on the uh, UHP. So this is going to give you a, a full power illuminator and a low power laser as opposed to dual high. So you can't really tell a whole lot, but that is a a higher power IR laser. Um, one thing that is different is where on the full power pack you had the illuminator only setting. On this you do not. Um, still adjustable so you can adjust the divergence and you can tell we'll go from 100 yards, 200 yards, and 300 yards. And see so you can tell a little bit better where that kicks up the juice going into full power. So again just working back, dual high, low laser, high illuminator, full power laser, dual low, and there's your IR settings, I'm sorry, and IR pointer only on low, and there's your IR settings on UHP.